Hey guys, it's Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, and today I've got an easy silhouette tutorial for you on how to create and save SVG files directly in Silhouette Studio. So when I first was um, uh, working with SVG files, I found it really difficult to find uh, exactly the type of SVG file that I wanted to use. And at the time, I didn't know Illustrator. Um, and I don't have Inkscape. And so the only option was really to create my files in Silhouette Studio. Um, right now, I design most of my files in Illustrator, but I know that's an expensive program. And I know a lot of you uh, don't either don't have it or you have it and you're just really not sure how to use it. So today I'm going to show you how you can create your own SVG files directly in Silhouette Studio and save them as an SVG file to your computer so you can then share them with people who use other cutting software other than Silhouette. Um, so before I get started with a tutorial, I want to tell you that you're going to need the um, business edition of Silhouette Studio to do this. Uh, that's the only edition. The business edition and above allows you to save as an SVG file. If you have the basic edition or the designer edition, you can only save your files as studio files. I have the designer edition, but I know that you can do this in the business edition because Silhouette tells me so. So, to get started, we're going to create this um, easy ice cream cone SVG file that you see here on the screen. So we're going to open a new document and just size it uh, 12 by 12 that fits the Cameo mat size. So first we're going to make our ice cream cone and to do that, come over here to the side to the drawing tools and choose this polygon. So if you click and drag it out, you can see that it makes a five-sided shape by default and since we're doing an ice cream cone we want it to be three sides so you just click and drag this slider right here down to three and you have a triangle shape so if you click it click and drag put it down at the bottom and then you know rotate it so it is straight up and down now since ice cream cones are tall and skinny um, I would like to make this a little bit uh, taller and skinnier. So to do that, we have to come over here and edit the points and click on right here to convert the object to a path. And then if you click on it, oops, if you click on it with your point tool, there you go. So now you have three points on either corner on all the corners and then you can just click and drag these points right here and make it tall and skinny like so all right so we have our cone next we're going to do the scoops of ice cream so i'm going to come back over to the shape tool or the drawing tools and we're going to choose a circle for the ice cream scoops so click and drag a circle hold shift to make it proportional oops we do not want that that looks kind of like Saturn and we don't want that okay so one scoop and then I'm going to make a couple more scoops having problems today with my shift key it's not working very well okay so couple more scoops of ice cream. They don't all have to be the same size, just random. But you do want them to overlap, like so. Maybe we'll bring that one a little bit down like that. All right, so now we have to like merge all these together so they cut out as one shape. So we're gonna select all of them by dragging a box and then come over here to the side to the modify panel and we're going to click weld and that just merges all the shapes together so they'll cut out as one so we have our cone we have our uh, scoops of ice cream and i'm going to make a cherry so again just draw 
a circle. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And to draw the stem, I'm gonna come over here and use um, this smooth freehand tool. And basically, this is just what it says. You're drawing freehand, so I'm gonna draw a little stem and a curve. And you don't have to be precise. That really doesn't look all that great, but you can click and, you know, edit these points the way you want them. And for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave that stem like that. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And put this cherry like right on top. So if I were to go to cut this, I would want to cut out each of these separately. So I would want to cut out the cone separately from the scoops, separately from the cherry. So the easiest way to do that is to fill each layer with that you want to cut with a different color. So click on the layer and over here and the little paint palette, it's the fill panel. We're going to just choose some colors. So red for the cherry and green for the stem. I'm going to choose pink for the ice cream and I'm going to choose uh, a light brown for the cone. So when you go to actually cut this, if you hit send, it'll take you to your cut settings. And up here, under if you hit fill, you can see that you can cut by color. So just uncheck the box boxes of what you don't want to cut. And so when you run your um, vinyl through the machine, this first cut, it will just cut the cone. And then if you um, then want to cut the scoops of ice cream next, then you just, you know, check the box next to the color that you want to cut. So I found that's the easiest way to cut out um, different colors on different layers. So now that you know how to actually design it and cut it, we're going to save it. So Again, you need the business edition to save it as an SVG file. So go up to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive. And if you have the business edition down here underneath the format, you will get an option for an SVG. I don't have that option because I have the designer edition, but if you have the business edition, there will be an SVG option here. You can also save it to your library, but not as an SVG. If you go save as save to library, then you can save it to your library with all the designs that you've created, but it will be a studio file, meaning you won't be able to use it in anything other than Silhouette. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe and make sure to check out more tutorials on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.